So today we're going to be messing around with some historic wavy glass. We made a trip to a salvage yard here in the Fort Worth area yesterday. So I made our way over there, searched through a bunch of different sashes and windows and stuff, and finally came up with some wavy glass. And I purchased two sashes of wavy glass for the sole purpose of having a backup if I break the first one. So we got those two sashes, but I also wanted to mention, check this out. I also picked this up over there. Really old light fixture and it's brass and it's got this white glass and it's just super cool. We'll probably be revisiting the, those kind of places and just finding these cool kind of cool things. And look at that, that brass has like a natural patina from just being around for a while. You can see it's like got some, like I guess it's oxidation. It just looks really cool. So, and it's in great shape. All the wires are here. The only thing I have to do is find like a little mounting plate to screw into because it didn't come with that, but that's an easy fix. So here's one of the sashes. This one's in pretty good shape. And by the way, we turned the uh, combination unit here into a little temporary workbench. It is unplugged, so no accidents can happen. Here's another one. But yeah, this is way more than enough glass for our door. So I guess we'll go ahead and start taking this one apart since it's already here. Since I don't need this whole sheet of glass, if it breaks a little bit, I'm okay with that. But obviously I'm gonna try to not break it at all. I knew I was gonna need two glasses. I didn't think that glazing putty really held it in there like that, but I thought it was just more of a weather seal. I guess it does. Dang, all right, now we're getting somewhere. I started prying from right here because this piece looked the most kind of damaged. You can see there's a big notch right there cut. Right where that stops is where the glass pinched and broke. That was the strong point of the wood and the wood was just like, nope, I'm not. I'm gonna just bend right here and the glass bent with it. I should have flipped the glass on the other side. The side that shows all the glazing. Doofus. I didn't really realize this was actually holding it in. I thought it was more of like a weather seal, but obviously it's holding it in. So on the next one, we're going to make sure we have the glazing side up, get all the glazing out of there, and the thing should just come out. We shouldn't even have to break this sash. I don't know what I was thinking. Round two. Nice. So here we have our solid piece of glass. We've got some foam pads on the table now. We're gonna clean this thing up. We're gonna try to clean up these edges a little bit. Most of these edges will be hidden behind our moldings. So I think we can clean them up substantially enough to use this 90. So I'm just gonna cut across here and I can split up my three pieces like this. We've got our fence right here from our table saw for our straight edge. And then really it's just measuring and cutting. So hopefully I can do this or we're headed back to the old home supply to get more. And I'm totally okay with that too because this glass was pretty cheap. Moment of truth. Yeah, we're good. We're dead on. Yeah, I think we're really good. Yeah, that's good. Check it out, guys. We got our first actual glass panel for the door. Just two more of these and we're done. 
Nice. All right, seven and three eighths. All right, guys. So what you want to do when you're cutting glass? No, I'm just kidding. Like I know everything now. <laughs> you got to hear that sound. That sound right there, that kind of staticky sound. That's it. Line it up on the edge here. And we got our final piece. And it's actually ended up where we have an extra piece. I can cut that little sliver out if we make a mistake on these three, but yeah, we've got our three pieces of glass. Do some minor cleanup on these and they'll be ready to install, but we're actually not going to install them today because I'm thinking I want to get the door and moldings completely finished with the Odie's oil and then install the glass. This seems like it makes the most sense so we don't have to mask off the glass. Yeah, that's probably what we'll do. I don't know. So yeah, we got our glass though and that's the most important thing. We did have one casualty over here with this one broken piece. And uh, other than that, pretty successful day. So you can see the subtle wave. All right, so there we have it guys, our three pieces of wavy glass. Pretty sweet deal. Sweet deal, Pickle. So I'll lay these out right here. I think next video we'll either be installing these or finishing the door. I haven't decided really which one should come first. I'm leaning more towards finishing the door, but I just don't know yet. So let me know if you guys have any tips and tricks on installing this. We're probably just gonna use some kind of adhesive, adhere it to our moldings and then put our other moldings on just with pin nails. So yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for this one, guys. Let me know um, any tips, tricks, comments, all that good stuff. I'm always willing to learn. And I also wanted to mention that we're living in generation TikTok. It's a very sad thing. We're living in generation YouTube shorts where everybody just wants stuff. Just give it to me now. It can't last longer than 30 seconds because my brain can't focus. I'm already moving on because I was raised on Cartoon Network where the image just flashes every second. Like literally, if you ever watch Cartoon Network, see if they ever leave the same scene for more than two seconds. It, it, I've tried it, like it doesn't, it, they don't. It's just so flashy. So that is why this has taken so long. It's actually not taking long, it's normal. It's ta it takes a while to do this kind of stuff. But either way, <laughs> it is what it is. I'm not here to just get stuff done quick. I'm here to learn and get stuff done the best that I can. So there's my rant for the day and I'll see you guys next time.